Uh, so let's let's work on this header up top here. Uh, what I ended up doing was I went and found um, a piece of my artwork. This was a uh, a drawing that I did in chalk pastel uh, a long time ago, and I just chose it because I felt like the color scheme worked. Um, so I'm just going to copy this and. Uh, I'm just going to find my my little header that I have here, and before I paste in that image, I'm just going to control click on uh, that layer on the image of the layer, and it'll it'll make a selection based on um, you know what pixels are there. So I'm just going to make a new layer, and I'm going to click this little button down here, and this creates a mask. So that made a mask based on my selection. So now I'm just going to paste in, uh, you know, my artwork, and I'm going to merge it down by doing Control E, and I'm going to preserve my mask. Okay. So now what I have is I have that image um, that I just pasted in, but you're, we're only seeing what I had selected, what's masked. So if I uh, if I hold down Alt and click on the mask, we can see just the mask, okay? And if I hold down Shift and click on the mask, it'll hide the mask. Um, so that's that's how that works. Uh, but right now, if I go to the Move tool and try and move this, it's going to move my mask and it's going to move uh, my artwork as well. So I'm just going to click this little lock to unlock it. So now when I click and drag, it just moves my artwork but my mask stays there. So I'm just going to position this a little better. Um, it looks like uh, when I merge down I lost some some of my artwork. So I'm just going to uh, delete this layer and I'm going to do this again. Um, copy that, paste it in there. I'm going to try and line it up here first and then I'll make the mask because uh, it, it kind of cropped off my artwork. So I'm just going to move this up here and I'll hide my guide so to get it out of the way. And I don't know, I kind of want something like this, I guess. Maybe a little more this way. Um, yeah, something like that. I think that's about what it was before. Yeah. Let me move this up. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to select, uh, or I'm going to hold down Control and select that, that layer, and click the Mask button, and that'll mask it off. And you know I can go in here, unlock it, and click on, make sure you have the artwork layer selected, and move it around and adjust it. All right. So um, I wanted to add like a little bit of a darker area here so we could see the text a little better. So uh, I'm going to just click on my mask. To select that and make a new layer and make a new mask and grab the paintbrush tool and uh, yeah I'll, I'll just grab the paintbrush tool and choose a softer brush and make it a little bigger and set my color to black I'm just gonna brush in here uh, that's a little much going to make my brush bigger. Uh, a hotkey to make your brush bigger are the little bracket keys. So I'm just going to kind of go like this. That looks good. Um, all right. So we're starting to look look like the uh, what we had before. It's getting there. Uh, it looks like my little rectangle around here uh, is a little bit too dark. So I'm just going to go in there and adjust that. So I'm just got to lighten up that stroke a little bit. Go in here to color uh, and bring that up. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to change my text over here. Uh, I'm going to change up the font and whatnot. Uh, I'm just going to add computer animator. Select that and make it a thinner, lighter font. 
and I'm going to change the color of some of this too. Like uh, Ben Jones, I'll make that like a, a light bluish color. I'm a fan of the color blue. It's my favorite color. So I tend to use it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it's about what I had. Okay. Um, and I'm going to change this to like a, a darker gray. Because it's not that important. I just wanted something to kind of separate out the words. Um, oh, I think I remember what I did here. Sorry, I'm going to go back to uh, this layer where I, I paint brushed in. And rather than using the paintbrush, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to delete this layer and uh, make a new layer. And uh, what I'll do is I'll fill this layer with black. Okay. And I'm going to make a mask. And I'm going to grab the gradient tool right here. And just click and drag and kind of create a gradient until I have uh, something that allows you to still still see uh, the text. That looks pretty good, I think. Um, and then what I'm going to do is right click on that layer and do create clipping mask. And what that does is it creates uh, a mask based on the layer below it. So it's going to constrain it to this, but uh, I can still go in here and really easily adjust uh, that kind of fall off using the mask. All right, so let's see. That looks pretty close. Uh, it looks like my text was a little bit off, um, or I didn't like the position or something. So I'm just going to center that. Yeah, there we go. And move it over a little. Yeah. So that's looking pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, there's one more thing I want to do. I wanted to bevel this edge. Because see how these are kind of nice and soft? I want to do that to, um, to this edge. I think I might do it to this one, too. Uh, just see how it looks. All right, and so to do that, I'm going to, where is that uh, nav bar? I'm going to make some adjustments to this. Uh, what I'll do is just drag out um, one of these boxes. Uh, but first I'm going to show my, show my guides. And uh, I'm going to make a new guide and bring it down here and snap it to that. And switch back to the rectangular rounded edge shape tool. And I'm just going to set that radius to, I don't know, like 4. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And since I have those guides there, it'll snap to the pixels really nicely. So I'm just going to drag out a big shape and drop it in there. All right. So now, if I hold down Control, I can get a selection uh, based on that. So I'm going to hide that, what I made, and uh, invert my selection by doing Control-Shift-I. And I'm going to delete uh, that little corner. And I have to do that on all of these uh, layers. So I delete that on that one. I think that's actually the only one. Yeah, cool. So now I have nice rounded edges. And I'm just going to delete that little uh, rounded edged layer that I made. Kind of get me that selection that I wanted. All right. That looks pretty nice. Um, I think that's it. I think, I think that's what I designed. Yeah. And it's pretty close. There are a couple things that are off. Um, but close enough for me. I like it. Uh, so, I'm just going to save this out, and 
I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll start uh, slicing this up. Yeah, and then we'll we'll start putting it back together. Awesome. See you later.